The Hoimi Horties. Two cap has encompassed a shiny doubloon in the form of the latest circulating 50p. The King Charles Coronation coin. A rare jewel in two caps quarters. Of course, the space remains for it to be found in an actual treasure hunt as this arrived courtesy of fellow privateer Master Temple's Treasures being a member of his channel. It's always a pleasure to see this handsome tree squiggle in the post. And of course, this comes at a time when Northumberland has just lost one of its most treasured icons in the form of the world famous Sycamore Gap tree beside Hadrian's Wall. What gives some scallywag bell end the right to fell such a magnificent 300 year old iconic tree? It should be keel hauled, given the cat of nine tails, and be forced to walk the plank. Better still, blow the men down or nail them to the fell tree and let nature decide their fate. Fair as foul and foul as fair and all that. In fact, Master Temple would probably have had some choicier expletives for the horrible runs. <laughs> Ran over. Go and check out Master Temple's painting channel. He's already painted a fabulous memento of the Sycamore Gap. Anyway. This is a coin channel. Today's lucky mascot from the signature coin crates below deck goes to Dave of North East Coins. Hello, Dave. Dave's having some awful luck with his eyes, causing issues for his coin tube and channel. So go and show your support. Aye, aye, Dave. We'll be sure to don our pirate eye patches for good luck. Of course, we're still looking for Q and five Olympics. And now, of course, there's that coronation coin. But, alas, this bag is from April. You'll have to believe us on that. You can barely read it. But the coronation coin isn't going to wash ashore this time round. All present and correct. So, what is going to be our first doubloon of the hunt? So good to be back. Let's not start with a bust, please. Oh. It's a bust. Of course, I always check the dates at the end, as you well know, I don't do it during the show, otherwise it would take forever. I've just seen a paddy in there, so at least there is some commemoratives in this hunt. Some jewels in the Nile, if you like. Yeah, it would just take too long. It's already 20 minutes after editing. I suppose I have, do have my rants. And whatnot at the start of the videos, which doesn't help. But there's two straight away. It's the national treasure, the NHS. I make that a swashbuckler. Not needed for the book, but I never tire of seeing it. Unlike this coin. Paddy at St. Paul's. Does nothing for me. Highly minted, very common. On with the treasure hunts. And while I'm on about that sycamore gap, that's really pissed me off, that has. You might be able to tell. I think it should be commemorated some way. What better way than on a coin? I was thinking maybe release a legacy set of fallen famous buildings and landmarks. Not that I can think of hand of any other. Tragedy. Obviously, the World War II would have, and the Blitz would have caused some significant damage, but I can't think what was completely destroyed. You see what I mean? John says on a postcard. Anyway, I digress again. Onwards and upwards. Ooh, it's 
the fake Olympic Team GB. Not a coin that comes out very often. I do like to see that. But ah, I put it mid range keeper. May become diluted over time. It's worth 50 pence at the moment. And that is all. A lot of these have been keel hauled, haven't they? Not quite worthy of Rich Richard RJ Coins' filthy series. Oh, these sloppy seconds. Personally, I wouldn't put any of chess back into the wild, so I hope not. It might just be a case of being less fish in the sea these days. Um, oh, a tasty fish. Will we be able to splice the main brace? Sleep easy in our hammocks. Still looking for the 2020 shield. Really irritating. What is that? Oh my days. We have ourselves a swashbuckler, peeps. It's cycling. It's a bit bad. Ad. But we'll take that. Do you know what that means, folks? I think you do. It's a book find. Get in. We have the moolah. We have the riches. The bonanza. The valuable treasure. Get in. Yo ho ho. And the bottle of rum. Blow the man down. That is exceptional. We have caught it. We have caught the big fish. No nasty sea worms. It's a swashbuckler. We are ship ship. Nasty. Any good, RJ? Nah, maybe seven. We'll have far worse than that, I'm sure. But it's certainly been nibbled by the sharks. That means there's only four Olympics yet to catch. Four Olympics are cute. And of course, the new coronation coin, which we know we can't find in this bag. Unless there's a time machine. So thin on the ground, it's amazing. Wonder if I can tart that one up with Macamula's rubber. Time will tell. Not that it matters, it's going in the book. Even if it's got filthy tyres. Master Temple would say happy days. Oh, Dave, North East Coins would sing, Oh, happy day. Diversity built Britain. Another awful 2020 coin. You'd think in 2020 they'd have good vision. But the standards of the designs on the coins are an absolute eyesore. Pardon the pun, Dave. Um, we have... The Wounded Soldier, the unofficial name for it. VC Heroic Acts. I do like that coin, but it suffers from high mintage. These are absolutely filthy. Nibbled by the sharks. Dance the hemp and jig. Circular pattern on it. Odd rim job. Oops. A 
That's my Davy Jones locker. The bottom of the seat. What year is that? Seven. Not that we're eight. Not that we need the space. There's not many commemoratives coming out yet. Any more silver and gold? Any golden nuggets? Any precious metals? Slim pickings. Can we bring a spring upon a cable? Any more surprise manoeuvres? There she blows. Let's break shit. 2020. The worst coin of all time. And we've got the VC, the medals, the partner of the coin above. Nice little coin set, that one. Again, suffer from high mintage. Peace, prosperity, and a little paper. Might be a slightly quicker video. Of course, I did have that rant at the start, which probably... Oh, my dears. Someone has shot on that coin. 2019. Wonder if RJ wants that. Caution. Wear rubber gloves. Oh, spillies, man. Spillies. Why can people not tie bags properly? That's what gets me. I'll refrain from swearing. I'm turning into Master Temple. I do apologise. Diversity. Another kind of almost a fake Olympic. It's the Commonwealth Games. Sporty coin, you know what I mean. Half a Q there. It's a good nick. I probably would keep that just as a mid-range keeper, certainly in that condition, but it's not worth anything. As you've probably heard a million times on other coin channels. That's why I don't tend to go to go through that spiel of Oh, for the shields you're looking for 9, 10, 11, 16, 18, 21. an old bag. I've heard the 2020s are coming through these days pretty soon. If I get back into coin hunting and get a fresher bag, I might find some. Of course, it's not for the treasure book, just from our own gate run, but still, still treasure. Something to treasure. Boring. Must be slippery on deck at the today. A lot of coin drops. Lots of empty kegs. There is another. Olympic. Okay, not in bad condition. When I first 
hunted. I used to get these. With the tainted colour on. But that's in good condition. Happy with that. Morning! There's a serious lack of commemoratives coming out of this bag. Diversity again. Only four left. Will there be a coin to sink me? To blow me down? Can we sing 15 men on a dead man's chest? No, no, no. We have no bottles of drum to report. Three left. Worthless dregs and empty kegs. We are almost past the drift. But of course, one Olympic and it's a book find that is extremely lucky at this stage, I have to say. But the coin gods have been kind. Of course, I'll try and clean up that bicycle. Get the old WD-40 on it. Give us a new set of tyres, check out the brakes, new saddle. Last bag, look, will that be fire in the hole? Nasty. 1997. There's probably plenty of those. Already. And that is that. So, I'm now on lookout duty from the crow's nest. For any low mintage coins amongst the definitives cast aside and I shall report back and on. Sadly no neater uncirculated finer coins NUFCs but three 2008 Britannias at a pound a pop 2008 and a £1.50 swashbuckler in the form of our national treasure, the NHS. Five million minted. But, of course, Dave Neck's luck has delivered for us this time. This time on his push bike. Now that would be a sight for sore eyes. It's been nicely cleaned up. Not perfect, but we'll take it. Cycling at two million minted is worth a couple of quid. But more importantly, leaves a skid mark on the treasure book. Aye aye, me hearties. <laughs>